Hello again, a new day, a new experiment, and uh, you see, lots of people are suggesting that using a very normal web camera and one of these lenses from a CD-ROM reader, okay, I have a CD player here, in fact, we can make a microscope, all right, let's try to do that, let me have these lenses out, anyway, I'm not using this guy anymore, even it's perfect working condition, I want to gain access to the lenses here. How can we get them out? Working spectacles with a better magnification. By the way, this is plus three. Probably yes. Let me have another screwdriver. It's opening the gate. Maybe. What is this? Kind of sensors. Okay, that one is out. Okay. This plastic goes out? Yes, of course. There are no sensors. No, these guys are just connecting with these coils here. And these coils are in a magnetic field and it's leading the lenses, you know, up and down. Depends of the needs. Okay, I'll keep the mount. Maybe it's useful, of course. And now let's connect the camera to the computer. And let me open an application here. Will help me to record cord camera. There we go. Do I have a signal to the microphone? Of course we have. You see, that's the camera here. I can even change the focal lens if we take it the other way. It's almost like a microscope. It's not the right length there. All we have to do now is to take this out to have a easier access to the objective here. And this is gone. Maybe I can use this. Of course. That's the CD camera, okay? Oh no. It needs to be very, very, very close there. How can I do that? You know, I got it exactly inside there. Let's see. Oh, nothing. Nothing, nothing. What about having the original? Screw back. Oh no, man, it's not working like that. You know, let's see, maybe we can catch the light here. The focal length, look at that guy. So the focal length here, it's very close. No, we need a long focal length. So the idea with a CD-ROM lens, it's running out. Let's take a look at this guy. Watch the focal length. Well, kind of higher, but it's not so dramatic. Let's try some more. Well, it doesn't look like like a regular optical lens. Mm, funny. We should have a kind of image here. Okay, let me try something else. You see, I have this uh, lupe. This lens from my uh, MacGyver knife, <laughs> Swiss Army knife. And this have a really high focal lens. Lens. Mm -hmm. We have a kind of image here, <laughs> right? Look there. That's my that's my GoPro there. Oh yeah, there we go. Hmm, interesting. Oh, but this this is a huge distance. Maybe I got that absolutely wrong. Okay, no chances. Yeah, because this is too short, evidently. No, oh, what's that? no chance okay let me try something else let me have my camera objective here oh, 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 oh yeah look there yes unbelievable oh yes that's an answer let's check this board 
Wow. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, but it's hard to keep it in place. Of course, a really, a really clever stand, it's a necessity. Oh. Look there, people. Wonderful. No? What do you think? But look at this guy now. Uh, hey, where are you? Okay, that's the board here. Look at the... Look how high can we get this camera running. Yeah, okay, so let's say this is the maximum magnification. No, it's the maximum length here. Okay, looking good. And now the minimum. This is on. Uh, okay, yes, we're getting really, really close. We have a good stand. It's really, really workable. Yeah. In this situation here, let me see. What's the focal length? A uh, piece of paper. That's the idea. We should have a picture of the lamp. And we have like two centimeters there let me see how much do we have with this guy much closer and what about this this should work it's very close here I have some more photo objective from different cameras let's see what we can do with these guys in the star okay let's check this out okay so here I have another objective that's of 2.9 on 50. Let's see how's this guy working. Okay, there we go. Wow. That's my GoPro up there. Funny. Much longer. Oh, I think I got this, the, the trick. You see, if I put it just the other way. Come on, steady. Because this is not a zoom objective, you see. I mean the, but oh my, look there. The image, it's amazing, nice. Okay, let's try to see a board. We really need to, to go up with this guy. But it's a pretty good image. Yeah, do I have another objective around here? It should be. Is this detachable? Right, it is. And that's a... That's a 52, okay. Same, same like the other guy.
ja. Twerking. Hoho. Ho. No, no, man. Okay, let me have the original back in place. How can we fake this for gaffing? Okay, extra length. E extra length or length here. Oh, we are going too down. Not good. Nah. This guy? Oh no. The project with uh, CD lens. Okay, let me try once more. And let me move the lenses a little closer to the sensor. How can I take this out from here? I can't get it in there. That's the problem. Yeah, there we go. Finally. You see? We are good. Now oh, you can see my ugly face there. It it needs to be really, really close. So that's no use for that. Okay. Closer, closer, closer. No chance. So this is just a myth. Very clear. Okay. The best result so far I had with that camera objective, which is a zoom, uh, like, uh, let's say, from 14 to 42. So the focal length is 42 maximum and this is a 50 already and you could see we can barely use it. But with a little effort, come on, just I need the space there, like two millimeters higher. And we have a perfect image. The single problem with this guy is that it's heavy. This is really heavy. It's metal, but it's workable. Look. Kind of. Yeah, I think it's possible. But this is the image with, a, with, a, with this regular, you know, web camera. They said it's like two megapixel or something. Well, it's not bad. The image is not bad at all. If, if I use that even so, and then I can electronically. But you see, it's very close, so it's no room for uh, yeah well <laughs> I hope it's interesting I don't want to give up this idea I will keep on searching for a for a suitable uh, replacement so that's it for today this little experiment i hope it's interesting for you and uh, you know it's a work in progress i'm i will still search for a convenient how can i say ensemble of lenses to build my own microscope you know a camera like this is very cheap i think i paid five euros or something for for this sensor all we need is the sensor inside and uh, yeah 
It's fun too, like always. Subscribe, like, and don't forget, have fun. Bye-bye.